hi guys welcome back I am back in my New York City apartment if you guys couldn't tell and it is weird to be here sorry that my throat's a little bit dry I have not been drinking a lot of water today so we're working on that but I'm in the process of unpacking everything and cleaning this place up thankfully I came home no bugs no problems which is unheard of so I'm so grateful and I'm just finishing up a little bit of work and then you can hear my radiator in the background what's good I'm gonna be going on some apartment tours I don't know if I can film in all of them just because some of them still have people occupied in them and I know for their privacy and for the respect of those tenants I won't be filming but if I can I will definitely like to show you guys a few of the ones that I visit today heading down to the financial district to take a look at some of the apartments around there. Um, please ignore my hat line. I know I bought an Aritzia beanie to help with that. I got like a slouch to your beanie. So we'll see if that helps because like what you guys <laughs> Like how does anyone take me seriously after that? I don't know. It goes away in like 20 minutes. So bear with me, but I inserted the clips of the two apartments that I went to go see. Both of them were in the financial district. Both of them were 2100 or less and they were no fee buildings with an earliest move-in date of February 1st. Um, the first apartment I really did love. The location wasn't as ideal. It was definitely the furthest tip of Fidei. And while you get a great view, obviously there's no buildings blocking obstruction of views. The price was right. Um, it is very far away from grocery stores, from any sort of shopping, so whether that's Target, whether it's CVS. Um, I think there was a Dwayne Reed a few blocks away but there's not a lot going on in that area. So it's very quiet. Um, it's very much known for the parks around it, the ferry around it, um, the monumental buildings, not so much the area. Then the other unit um, was one I was really excited to see, but was disappointed because it was a east facing window. So while it faced a very quiet side, it will never actually get a ton of light. And to me, if you're gonna have one window, you need to get direct sunlight. So that and the fact that it had this like sliding door um, situation. And when I asked the owner, the, the broker, excuse me, if I could remove it, he said yes, but it would be at your own cost. The owner would not cover it because a previous tenant put it up. So I didn't love that answer. And it's just because it causes me to do a lot of extra work for an apartment. So I would say it was a relatively successful day, but I don't know if I'm gonna see more tomorrow. Um, it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So depending on if it does or doesn't, I will end up seeing some units in a little bit more of a desirable location. They're just gonna be a lot smaller um, because with a good location comes a significant downsize. And a big thing for me is I really want to have a couch. Um, I currently have my love seat. And while I love him, he has been with me through thick and thin. I'm ready to upgrade to a bigger couch. So I'm hoping that I can find a unit that will fit this bad boy here as well as a full size couch. So thanks for tuning in to this moving vlog number one. Um, we'll check back. Subscribe down below if you guys love seeing the New York moving vlogs. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.